Thank you for tuning in to another unboxing review, this time of the JBL Horizon. Now let's start with the box. The packaging of the JBL Horizon is orange and white. I ordered the white model. The front shows the product, the side explains the ambient light, the rear explains all the other features and the other side tells you more about the USB charging. Pretty basic packaging, high quality, so let's get into the box. First thing we're going to take out is the Horizon itself. Next up is the box with the accessories and some paperwork. Now the box is empty, we'll just put it aside. So starting off with the quick start menu, you got some basic instructions. Now these are some warranty information. And these are some safety guidelines. So in the accessories box, the first thing we're going to find is a German power plug. Next is the power plug for UK. This is the FM antenna that you plug in into the rear of the horizon. And this is the power supply itself. It comes with an American plug, but if you're using the other ones, you just slide them on top. Now let's go ahead and unwrap the horizon. The first thing you're going to notice when unboxing the horizon is the rubbery finish on the front. The white is white rubber. The front mesh is made out of cloth. And the rear is just plastic as well as on the bottom. Underneath this cap you will find a round battery cell for the clock memory. On the other side you will find a switch for daylight saving times and a button to set the time, as well as two USB ports on the side for charging. The materials are quite good, high quality and finish. Now let's start off with the buttons. We got the sleep timer, Bluetooth, FM radio, forward, pause, start, backwards, alarm clock 1 and 2, volume down, volume up and snooze. The Chevy Horizon is offered in two colors. I have the white one but there is also a black one for sale. Now let's take a closer look at the unit itself when powered on. When you push the alarm button once, you will see what the alarm is set to. If you push it a second time, you will turn it on or off. If you keep holding the alarm button pushed, you will be able to change its settings. To change the settings for the alarm, you do not have to push plus or minus, but you have to use the forward backwards buttons as well as the start stop button at the top. You can set the hour, the minute, the days you want the alarm clock to go off, as well as the different alarm tones.
The alarm tones work in a way that when the alarm goes off it's on the most quiet setting. Each iteration it turns its volume up until it's on maximum volume, which is pretty damn loud. But it's really just trying to make sure you do get up. My favorite is the one rise. We also have the option to enable and disable the ambient light when waking up. So there's an FM button that you can push to turn on the radio. Left and right buttons for tuning. And then there's the Bluetooth button which enables the Bluetooth connectivity. Make sure your smartphone is bound on the Bluetooth device. If you're in trouble, make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. It might take a while until it's connected though. If you turn on the light, it will slowly increase its luminance until it's fully lit. And the same goes for turning off the light again. One thing I was surprised about is the flickering of the light on the camera which means that the light is using a modulation to dim the brightness. The light does turn on and off rather quickly, however it is not comparable to the Philips alarm clocks out there. The iPhone dock I'm using here is not part of the JBL Horizon, this is an accessory part that I bought for my nightstand. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and if you found the video helpful please consider supporting me.